This is gonna be a reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Cross Watchers. If you are, I just split the deck and I got Five of Swords and Empress, okay? Um, someone could be having conflict with a mother or trying to get pregnant, um, feeling defeated in that regard, but I wasn't ready to shuffle yet. So, uh, but Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and cross watchers okay if you're a cross watcher for a gemini this could be either your energy or the gemini you are watching for i'm also going to do an extended extended on my patreon which i will post the link in the description box we have seven of wands reversed okay so i'm hearing that you don't have to prove yourself to anyone you don't have to like make a stance um you can just kind of let go of the battle because i feel like maybe you've been kind of wasting energy trying to like be really stuck in this stance and you're you're just wasting your energy is what i'm hearing okay um perhaps you've been very contemplative and you're not taking any moves you're kind of thinking about things this is gemini libra aquarius if everything comes up reverse though i am gonna consider taking them up right now okay uh, the star, beautiful. I feel like you guys are reaching for something. Perhaps you're wishing for things to be different. You definitely could be dealing with an Aquarius, but something feels out of reach to you. Something feels like maybe it's never going to happen. Perhaps you're also trying to get, I don't, I want, I don't want to say famous, but you're trying to get known for something. You're trying to be in the spotlight or you're dealing with someone who's like that perhaps this person is very focused on their stardom or their fame or their i don't know like maybe they're an influencer or something and you're just tired of trying with them you feel like they maybe you message them and they ignore you but then they post pictures and you can and you just kind of feel like what's the point like they're not even accessible to you and perhaps this is a wound that you've dealt with before and it's resurfacing so that's like a very specific story i'm sorry if you guys hear my dog barking i feel like um I, i'm kind of getting this energy that it's like you and someone that are going like this like you're going in different directions you're both going very fast but you want different things like um and you're, you're like i don't even want to say butting heads but you're just like two ships crossing in the night um what is this Knight of Wands about? And someone could be sometimes accessible to you and then they like, they like disappear as well. You're going back and forth about where to put your energy. My dog is going crazy right now. There's some, you feel injustice. You feel frustrated with this person. I don't know why I feel, there's a lot of air sign energy, some fire sign. Um, you feel like there's an imbalance. You're trying to balance things out. I also feel like, <laughs> You're trying to kind of manipulate the situation karmically, but you just got to let go. I feel like the lesson for you is to release your control. That is definitely like something that is coming through. I'm actually being guided to use this deck, even though I haven't used it in one of the sign readings recently. But um, I definitely feel like you guys are learning a lesson about releasing control and just focusing on yourself because this other person is not going to like you cannot tame this person you can't control this person they're giving you a run for your their, your money surrender to your soul's path your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth embrace every lesson and every moment yes everything is happening the way it should be so this is something you're learning is to surrender to your soul's path and these are both like the same colors you see not all these are so this is kind of like a yellow like a golden sunlight kind of energy and then surrender to the beauty of the natural world and this is ripped but take a relaxing break and spend time in nature replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there i love these like this is very like the energy you guys could be in like spending a lot of time perhaps i feel like the sunlight is very important for you to like clear your mind if there is no sun where you are you can literally just imagine like a golden light like pouring down on your brain and your body like illuminating all your cells i just feel like that would be very healing for you guys right now i'm being called to use this fairy oracle here but this is these two cards are so similar and they're like very bright i feel like you know what's good for you right now so perhaps you don't have like en enough time to like get these moments of solitude or whatever but even if it's just for like 10 minutes a day i feel like it will really help you okay 
so what else do you get? Look at this. This is like a similar energy. Secret doorway and riddle fisher. D divination seeking out and finding answers. Working with intuition. Second sight opening. Dimensional doorways. I'm like loving your guys' reading because usually I'm called to use these oracle decks where it's like all about romance. But for some reason, I just feel like you guys are on this path of like really nurturing yourself and like looking within this is number five and this is number three riddle fisher divination seeking out and finding answers i mean this is a very gemini energy i feel like you guys are always kind of looking for answers you're always in inquisitive there's something that's like appealing to you or enticing you there's parts of yourself too that have been triggered lately these are doorways to understanding more about yourself so i feel like approach it from a very like neutral standpoint not like having an emotional reaction to things that come up for you just being more curious about it okay then you have far far away creative daydreaming which to me reminds me of this star so it's like twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder where you are like something feels very out of your reach number 30 here uh, but I also feel like you could be really daydreaming, daydreaming about someone or someone could be daydreaming about you. Uh, what song just came through? Um, Cause I'm dreaming of you tonight. All right, I'm going to end there. I'm going to go into the Patreon and use the dating scene oracle. And we're going to get more into the love. So if you guys aren't a member of my Patreon, you are welcome to come over there and join me. It's either five or ten dollars. Same benefits for each. It's a way to support me. It's a way to be in a smaller community. If not, no worries. We'll end here. I thank you guys for being here and I'll see you over there.